Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Today we're talking about a hair product and this is one I came across a couple of weeks back now which I purchased and I've kept it and I've used it a couple of times and a little bit on the fence about it, I have to admit. It's not necessarily a product which I'm absolutely overwhelmed by, which we will go through in just a moment, but it's certainly not a bad product and it is something which has good results to a certain level. The product which we're talking about today is this one here. So it's the shampoo and the conditioner range from the Sios product range and I just believe that I hope that I'm pronouncing that right. Sios, I think that's right. And that's full hair five and that's a five effect. And those effects here are so five fold effect and that's density, volume, strength, anti-breakage and root stimulation for thinning and fine flat hair. Okay, so first things first, as you can probably see, I look like I've got quite a lot of hair. Yes, it's fine, but I've got quite a lot of it. What I always try to do is I am trying to keep the best hair possible. So I'm trying to always look after my scalp. I'm trying to keep my hair as, as growing best as possible and the best environment and boosting fine hair. Of course, now, very often when you go for a product, the product which you, you want is if it's for flat hair, you want that lift, you want that effect straight off. Now, with the shampoo and the conditioner range, which I've used, I... I it's difficult to say because just going straight off when it says here five fold effect and it's density, volume, strength, anti breakage and root stimulation. Hmm. Straight. The thing which I don't like from this product straight off is the picture on the front here. OK, when you see this here, but yet the products for thinning and flat hair, this person here clearly does not have fine or flat hair. It's a, it's a lady um, pictured with absolutely tons of hair. So for me, I find straight off that the product itself sort of cuts itself short straight off because you're showcasing an image on the front which just truly cannot happen if you've naturally got fine, flat hair. You can have an amazing hairstyle, but you're never going to have that. Do you see what I mean? And that for me is just really quite misleading. Yes, you can have really, really nice hair and it can be thin. And fine hair can be really, really lovely as much as what having loads of hair can be. But this image here, I just think is just such an unrealistic touch. I think actually it's quite sad. Another thing is as well that it's a little bit sort of, it's showcased straight away at woman's hair. I think you can tell that. For me, I always find that men and women have problematic hair and they have fine hair. Men, more than most, have finer texture hair, see-through hair, a lot less density. So very often it, it kind of annoys me that products for fine hair is sort of aimed at women straight away. When of course there's men out there which really want to the best hair possible and when you think of thinning hair very often you think of men's hair you don't necessarily think of women's hair and yes of course it can affect men and women and yes for women it's so much more in a way devastating because hair is who we are and it's our personality but it just does annoy me when a product such as these aim it straight away at women when i think you could actually possibly pick a bit more of a unisex picture and that would aim at uh, and address so many more people let's move on so in terms of packaging quite sleek modern packaging really nice clear you can see the name here straight off um and it's got the effect of which it's trying to give you from using the product which we're going to go through in just a moment because some i agree with and some i don't so in terms of what the texture of the shampoo is like so let's work on the shampoo first of all so the shampoo is almost like a very pearl sort of um, sort of shimmery effect when using the uh, shampoo. It's quite a it's quite thick. It lathers through your hair really quite easily. And the smell is really quite interesting because it's a product which reminds me straight off, for example, if you've ever walked into like a salon or a barber's and there's loads of people having their, their hair cut and there's products being used and you can smell the products being used or you can or you can see that possibly someone's having their hair coloured or something like that in there and these smells and you can really characteristically tell that <clears throat> excuse me that it's that you're in a barber's you're in a salon and there's lots of things going on on these products which really really um they give you that smell that that there's so many products sort of in the atmosphere and you get that smell that really nice sort of smell that quality you know that quality's there that's what this reminds me of um for example, if you've ever had your hair cut in Tony and Guy, the experience what you have in there is is really, really good. And um, very often I've been fortunate enough to have my hair cut in there several times in the smell of the products and things which they use. Um, it kind of reminds me of that walking into a really high top end uh, hair shop or salon or barbers, whatever you want to call it. That's what it reminds me of. Um, 
really really quite nice really quite nice moving on to the conditioner now the conditioner is much much thicker so the shampoo is really quite easy and glides through your hair really really nice the conditioner is quite thick and you think that it's going to be really quite heavy it's not necessarily heavy but it's really quite creamy in texture and it looks after your hair so if you've got a bit of a damage or, or you're using heat on your hair very often the conditioner which is the one in the white and again, that's a really nice effect as well. So the shampoo's in black, the conditioner's in white. Um, really, really great for your hair. And it's quite nice, actually. It's almost a little bit like that you're using a treatment because it surrounds the hair. It engulfs the hair in really nice ingredients to be able to really get that hair smooth and sleek. Now, moving on slightly from the five effects, so it's full hair five. And that's on both the shampoo and the conditioner. So I'm just going to move through them one by one. So better combability. And that's certainly something I can absolutely agree with. So better combability. Why would you necessarily want that? OK, so that can start from many things throughout the day. So the first thing when you wake up in the morning, very often if you've been if you're you, as you've been asleep at night, your head's been moving around, your hair can be very quite tangled, quite knotty. So you want a shampoo that's going to be able to get into amongst your hair and really get that going and get that much more free feeling for you to be able to easily comb through your hair straight away. This does just that. So it really does work with you, not against you, and it makes your hair much more sleeker and easier to comb through. And just straight off from using the shampoo, you get that effect. And the conditioner just boosts the moisture and really, really takes you into a whole better sort of... Um, control of sort of that you've repaired anything what might have gone on from the previous day's styling so it's really really nice in that effect let's move on so density now i always find that's quite a huge ask for a shampoo and conditioner to you to offer is density now you may think looking at my hair i don't need density now okay i don't need density but i do need something to support the density what i have and make the most of what i have and that's what i think the shampoo does it works on what you have so it's a little bit misleading that it gives you density because I don't think it does it works on what you have and it boosts the fact that it lifts the hair away from the follicles but not majorly I have to admit that it's a good shampoo and conditioner but for me I don't feel the effects for if you were really lacking density or if you had really like that paper fine hair which of course can still be lovely can still look really really nice but I don't feel that the shampoo and conditioner warrants to be able to call it for fine thinning hair it's really really good but i think it's more volumizing it's certainly not for thinning ultra sort of fine see-through hair it doesn't give you density um it gives you support and structure not density what reading this my my impression of that straight away from the shampoo and the conditioner is that once you use this you will have improved density so for example if you've got an area of your your scalp or your hair and you're and you're thinking that you're under a certain light or you're in a certain room or you're you're out somewhere and you can see straight away your scalp and you want that thicker density i think it's a little bit misleading um for me it improves sort of the structure of your hair it gives it texture some may say that gives you density but for me density is that that instant sort of thicker feeling when you touch your hair it feels thicker no it doesn't um so a little bit of a letdown there, but possibly on how they've worded it on the products. Let's move on. So next on here, we've got volume. So that, yes, it does do. Does it do it very well? I'd say moderately. I've had better shampoos which give you volume. Um, it looks after the hair. It, it it lifts the hair away but I find if you don't use a blow dryer you do not get that effect it you kind of are left with a little bit of a lank feeling in your hair for me anyway um Sios is a product which I've enjoyed using but as I said at the start, I'm a little bit on the fence whether or not it works for thinning in flat hair. Of course, I've not got thinning hair, but I do have flat hair. The style what you see me with today is actually through using quite a lot of hairspray. So I have used this product, but what I've actually had to do is using more free spray than what I would probably use if I used like a pre-styler or if I used with another shampoo conditioner for flat hair. So volume, it does to a certain extent, but I would probably say more of a natural volume. If you were buying this product and you've seen this image on the front here, which is a shampoo, don't forget, in black, and you would think to yourself that you're going to get this through having, and you've got fine hair, no, certainly not. And for me, I just feel that the cuts, it cuts short from really what you should be you should be aiming to get across to consumers. And in a way, it's a little bit sad, because why, on a thinning flat shampoo, are you saying density, volume, strength, anti-breakage, root stimulation? And you've got a picture like this. No, I'm sorry, I don't, necess don't necessarily agree. Let's move on. So strength. I would say that it does that. Yeah, absolutely it does. 
but not from the shampoo, from the conditioner, because the conditioner is really quite thick. Um, how would I put it? So it's quite high viscosity, so it's quite thick, it's quite sort of creamy, um, and it it lavas through, you think first of all when you put it through your hands it's going to be quite difficult to get through your hair, but it's not. It's kind of almost like a treatment. Um, looks after the hair, engulfs the hair sort of in product, and you can really, really tell that there is ingredients in there which looks after the hair. Um, would I say for volume density? No, we've already covered that, not so much, but possibly natural. It gives you a little bit more structure, it gives you a little bit more um, resistance in the hair, uh, but for strength, Again, on the fence, wouldn't know. Because my hair's, of course, not ultra long, I would think that would be a question for more sort of a woman's hair. Um, if they're using heat on their hair every day, does it help with strength? But then possibly, would my question to that as well, would you be using the same shampoo or the same conditioner product if you've got concerning for thinning hair in strength? I'm not sure. For strength, I think possibly you may turn to like a hair oil or a leave-in treatment spray, something along those lines, or a serum, not necessarily just leaving it for a shampoo conditioner. For repairing, yes, absolutely, but for strength, I don't think you would get much strength from using a shampoo and a conditioner. It would probably be repairing the damage which you have to a certain level, then you'd have to go in with an oil or like a leave-in conditioner spray, something along those lines where I think you would get more better strength from. Let's move on. So the next one which we've got on here is anti-breakage, which I think in the end comes hand in hand with strength. I think if you're having problems with breakage, whether you've got, uh, whether you're a man or a woman, you have a lot with your hair, you use a lot of heat on your hair. Um, I think the best thing in the world is regular trims. Um, if you are starting to look at your, your, your hair and you're thinking it's looking a bit dull, it's looking a little bit dry, the best thing in the world is trimming the ends of your hair or having regular sort of kind of freshness through the hair. So literally just a very small amount of dusting through the hair makes a huge amount of difference. Of course, if you can't, or if you don't want to do that, and you want to hold on to the length of your hair, what you've got, whether you're a man or a woman, then shampoo and conditioner, yes, absolutely can help. I can't comment from that because I don't have breakage, but I would think that the conditioner, it does have some really conditioning properties in there. Like I said, it does act a little bit like a treatment. So I think you would get some repairing from the product if you had a little bit of damage in your hair. For strength, I'm not so sure. For breakage, I think that what it would do is it would kind of fill those sort of porous areas in the hair and it would help you. I think you would still benefit from going in with like a treatment spray, like a leave-in conditioner or some sort of oil or serum. Let's move on again. And this is the last one, which again, I'm on the fence of a little bit. So root stimulation. Now, I have covered on my channel uh, pretty recently that the root... <sighs> Cost doesn't necessarily matter with product. You can spend pounds on products and you might not necessarily get as good a benefit from using something on the opposite end of the spectrum being really, really cheap. Sometimes paying more gives you a higher quality ingredient, but of course that doesn't mean to say that it's gonna work with your hair or your scalp. You may find that the product, the cheapest end of the scale from the supermarket or even from cheaper shops may work for you fantastically, amazing. When it comes to a product, though, saying root stimulation, whether it's expensive, whether it's cheap, if you're going to say that on a product, I really think that it must work. Now, it wasn't until I looked on the ingredients in these uh, products here that it contains caffeine. Now, caffeine, of course, we all know, or if you looked from my, if you've seen from my channel, that I have covered before in certain caffeine shampoos. The one which stands out from my mind straight away is the caffeine shampoo known as alpazine but of course that says that it has caffeine on there these products here don't so it kind of makes me think that you're saying it's root stimulating why i would need to know a little bit more to have a bit more confidence about it it wasn't until i looked on the back of these products where it contains caffeine and then i know straight away that it's not thought to be everybody's saviour of hair growth or stimulating hair growth. It is only thought that it possibly can help with hair growth. Now, I'm a big believer in caffeine in shampoos, and I really do believe that they do stimulate growth. But however, stim um, when you are stimulating roots, I think that if you were starting from having very, very little hair and then looking at this and thinking root stimulation, I'm going to get my hair back, no. So I think from that aspect, it should be a little bit more clearer. I don't know how that could come across in the product, but I do think that it should be. And I think it makes it worse because you've got this picture of the woman on the front here with absolutely stacks and stacks of hair. 
you see what I mean? That's what makes me feel like I'm on the fence a little bit here with it. Now, caffeine is great in products, but prevention is much better than cure. So if you're starting to notice a problem, it's best then to jump in with a product with caffeine in. It's not thought 100% that caffeine actually helps hair loss. It's a very personal thing. So for me, I believe it does. But for somebody else, it might it might not help the problem at all. Caffeine is meant to encourage healthy hair growth and healthy scalp. Some people unfortunately can't necessarily use it because it can be quite harsh on the scalp. It can actually cause problems with giving a problematic scalp. But for me, I've had great results from using Alpazin shampoo in the past. But however, when I say great results, I mean improving the vigor of my hair. So making it have a bit more body, making it stand up, having a bit more energy, not regrowing hair back through. I'm using it as a prevention whenever I use it. I'm not using it because I've got hardly any hair or my hair's very see-through and I'm trying to grow hair back through. So from that aspect, I don't agree that this product is root stimulating. Yes, it might well be looking after my roots, but what then it should say is keeping your roots healthy, possibly guarding against hair thinning. Not, you've got thinning hair, it's going to stimulate growth or it's going to stimulate the roots because again that's a little bit of it you're stretching the truth there caffeine is fantastic in shampoos and conditioners but of course you have to be realistic with the approach that it's working with what you've got and yes it might well be freezing the effects of thinning or age-related thinning or whatever's going on with your scalp but I don't believe that caffeine alone can just regrow hair back. Yes, it can stimulate. And that's great because sometimes what you'll find in products for thinning hair is products like menthol. Now, that's not in here, but that cooling effect. Again, it's stimulating on the scalp. It's stimulating the roots and it can help you have the best possible hair growth for you. Does it regrow back hair? Do you know, I don't think actually that many people actually know that, that there's not actually a lot of evidence out there to say that these products do help us regrow hair. It just keeps us having the best hair possible growth. So it gives us the possibility for the best hair growth. And I find from using this product, um, it's kind of a lot of measures put out there. Do they work? It's a great shampoo. Is it great for thinning hair? I'm not so sure. It creates body and it creates lift. But I think that's where sort of the buck stops with it. I don't necessarily think it should be saying Root stimulation, density, that's two words which I would probably take out of there straight away. It's good for thinning flat hair by increasing volume, by increasing lift, lifting the hair away from the scalp and working on the condition. Density, root stimulation, no. I'd probably replace that with saying keeps roots healthy and it can guard or possibly guard away from those effects of thinning hair. Not categorically saying it's stimulating roots. Do you see what I mean? So that's why I'm on the on the fence there with this product. But however, having said that, it is a good product. I don't agree with certain aspects of it, but it is a good product. Um, and it's and it's something I would use um, it, or continue to use rather. And it's something I would use in the uh, future. Um, but for me, just a little bit sort of don't necessarily agree with some of the aspects um, on these two here. But there we go. But having said that, I have used the product today. Does it make me not need to use so much styling products? It doesn't, unfortunately, but it is a good volumizing product. And because it's got caffeine in there, I know that there are good properties in there. So it could possibly potentially help my scalp. Um, have I noticed any difference? No. Have I noticed any difference when I'm washing my hair out in the sink or in the shower or in the bath? No. To be honest, from my own personal situation, no. But there again, it is a good product. It's a good brand. Um, and it's certainly something which I, I would use in the future. Would I recommend it? Yes. But just have a really, really realistic, um, a really realistic sort of approach to it. Because there are some misleading things on here. Something I will just point out as well. So for full hair, just on the back of the shampoo here, telling you a little bit more. For thinning flat hair, visibly boosts volume, provides density. How? That's what we've just covered, you see what I mean? And strength for remarkably fuller looking hair. Don't necessarily agree with that. Reduces hair breakage and actively stimulates roots. 
The only active ingredient in here I can see is that it's got the caffeine in here, which we know that caffeine is used to potentially give us healthy growth and to potentially have a healthy scalp environment to grow the best hair possible. It's not guaranteed. That's the thing what we have to have a realistic approach here as well. Um, and then we've got here as well. So Stylist recommends, style, couldn't get my words out then. So Sios uh, Stylist recommends apply thoroughly to wet hair and rinse. For optimum results, also use Sios Full Hair 5 Conditioner, which let's just go to the back of this one as well. So here, so Full, five, uh, full Hair 5 Conditioner for thinning flat hair, smooths the hair fiber for improved combability. Okay, it does that. Gently cares without weighing it down and provides density and strength. We've covered that. Reduces hair breakage and actively stimulates roots. I don't agree. Um, so the Sios stylist recommends apply thoroughly to wet hair and rinse for maximum volume results. Try reverse washing. Use conditioner before the Sios Full Hair 5 shampoo. I've done that. I didn't really see too much of a difference. I think you would see more of a difference if you had longer hair. So that's putting the conditioner in first of all and then washing it out with the shampoo. It's quite good. Um, doesn't really make too much of a difference for me i have to admit could possibly be because of the product or it could be the length of my hair i will be very very honest um but as i say i've enjoyed using the product and i would use it again just have a really really realistic approach on that one as well okay thank you very much for watching my clip today i've really really enjoyed it um mixed emotions there but on the whole a good not a fantastic a good product unfortunately just a few little misleading things on here which we do see in everyday life on products and just in life general when we do purchase these products of course we put a lot of faith into products when you can be quite vulnerable and you're having problems such as thinning hair when you see a product like this it does kind of almost great on me that just by using those sort of terms like density and actively stimulate roots that it can put a problem back right i just think it's a little bit unfair um but of course not taking it away from the product it is a good product and it's a good range um so yeah finally thank you very much for watching my clip and until next time we will see you then bye now